this is Nevin from Raw Kids Rock, and I want to talk to you about vitamin D. Um, a few weeks ago, or a few months ago, my dad took me to the doctor, and, and he said that I might be too skinny, but he was comparing me to all the other kids, and the doctor said that I was actually perfect, and that he was comparing me to the other kids and that all of the other kids are actually a little, or are actually overweight. So that's pretty sad. And instead of, the doctor said that we should take, that I should take vitamin D, but the best way to get vitamin D is out in the sun. So um, I heard that 15 to a half, 15 minutes to a half an hour is good to be out in the sun and so because of your skin color yeah, right because of my skin color if you're a darker skinned person then you, you have to go out in the sun longer to for your body to make the vitamin d with the sun but you only need about 20 minutes to half an hour a day and you can go a little longer because you don't burn very much but it's up to you so sometimes you lay in the sun huh Mm -hmm. And then sometimes we just go for a walk and we put on shorts and tank tops and we get sun while we're walking instead. Or we go for a swim at your grandma's house, right? <laughs> She's got a salt water pool. So we find different ways to do it, not always the same way. And then, but in the winter time, we're going to supplement. Yep. So that the vitamin D stays high because it's very good for development to make sure you have a proper amount of vitamin D. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. So it was kind of a bummer to hear the doctor say that, huh? That most of the other kids that he sees, that your dad sees, are actually overweight. And that you're, because he was very concerned about you because he could see some of your bones, yeah, right? Yeah, see my bones through But my she back said that well. was perfectly normal, huh? Yep. yep. So maybe you can encourage some kids to eat a little more naturally so they'd be more their natural body weight. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah? How would they do that? What it was a suggestion for that? Go vegan. Go vegan? Yeah, and eat a lot of fruits and vegetables? Yes, eat like 90 to 80% fruits and vegetables, 80% at the least. Yeah, and then they can have a little bit of other healthy things, you know, but yeah. try to stay away from junk. And um, you should get, like, if you want to, if you're like a big fan of Mexican food, then you should just like get like corn tortillas and like pinto beans or something mm -hmm. where it'll still taste good and if you want if you're like a big fan of like sandwiches then you should just get um gluten-free gluten-free bread and sprouted whole wheat yeah sprouted whole wheat some people can't have gluten and some people can have it but they have like the sprouted huh yep, yep. and what's you like to make a sandwich what's your favorite sandwich coconut butter and honey sandwich oh my gosh it's so good <laughs> <sighs> i think maybe you're vegan yeah you're vegan except for you have honey every now and then huh? yeah every now and then i don't usually not very eat often a lot. not very often and then um the, you get some sprouted corn tortillas sometimes yep, yep, and yep. those are pretty good mm -hmm. so those are ideas for kids huh and if you're a big fan of tacos you you can make um avocado and tomato tacos and you put cumin and paprika on it and it mm -hmm. tastes really good yay that's good advice and summertime right now you could eat practically plums and peaches all day long if you want yep, yep, yep. and just have just a little bit of cooked food at night or just you know have your vegetables at nighttime mm -hmm. potatoes what do we get you green beans we can we wanted to yeah you, green beans you wanted to maybe um steam some of them oh what yeah. did we make today we made um zucchini, zucchini noodles. noodles with a macadamia sauce yep and we only used a little bit of macadamia nuts but and we also put some zucchini in there to make it thick with water and a little bit of garlic and some lemon and we didn't use any salt or anything and it's good isn't it yep, yep, yep. and it's low fat Mm -hmm. It's creamy, but it's low fat. Good stuff. Okay. Well, thank you, Nevin. And thank you for talking about vitamin D. It's very important. A lot of people are very low on their vitamin D. So it's good to get it checked out. And 
you know, look up some recommendations on about where, where your levels should be. And you can actually, you know, do some experimenting and watch it rise. We're going to get a little more, more sun today washing the car, huh? Yep. Yeah, so there's ways to get outside and get some sun, even if you don't feel like laying there. She's going to do some reading. She's got a cool book there. So anyway, so thank you. Peace. Go vegan. Go vegan. Peace. <laughs>